And you see, the problem with Matt Bell, first of all, uh, MK, are you aware of the fact that M M uh, Matt Bell believes that there are errors um, in the original autographs? Uh, no, I'm uh, not aware of that. Yeah, he does. He does. He does not believe in an infallible, inerrant text in so far as the it, um, original autographs. That okay. might be because he's interested in the historical method in analyzing the Bible. Like, if you're going to analyze anything in history, I, then it's clear that it's it should be scrutinized, and once you scrutinize it, there are errors that you might find. Like, nothing is safe if you're trying to look at it from a historical perspective. Maybe theologically, maybe theologically, um, maybe theologically, he might not see it as full of errors, right? No, Matt, Matt, Matt Bell, I've asked him right, uh, right uh, to his ear, I was going to say to his face, uh, do you believe in an infallible, inerrant uh, text insofar as the original autographs? And and he sa he said no. And he is taking he is taking a classical anti-Christian uh, historical uh, anti-Christian approach. Now there now there are uh, uh, mo what we would call modernists that that have risen up within the last hundred years or so, um, and he is following in their tradition. That there are errors um, in the original autographs that God inspired. Okay, Matt has a very serious. I'm not done. Matt has a very serious fundamental theological problem because uh, in the New Testament, Paul demonstrates or he states that all Scripture is theopanustos. Okay, panustos literally translates in in a transliteration. All Scripture is God breathed, okay, and and the doctrine of the inspiration of the Bible when 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 you uh, you study it, it is that God superintended uh, and providentially guided the biblical authors without violating their free moral agency to uh, pen the very message down to the very words, and that is where the term says all. Scripture. It doesn't say that their minds merely were God breathed. It says the very writings were God breathed. So Matt has a very, very serious fundamental theological problem in that God breathed out a material that had errors in it. I I don't understand how uh, God breathed led to. Does it elaborate on what what is meant by saying God breathed? Like, how did you come to the conclusion that, that that's what it meant? I'll tell you that as meaning. That's, that's, the, trans, that's the translation. The literal Greek is theos. I'm, I'm really sorry. I couldn't hear what you, you said from the start. I said that is the literal Greek that I gave you, the transliteration. Not a, not a translation, the transliteration. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking you, from that statement, God breathed, how did you um, – how did you come to the conclusion that meant that the authors were, were what is it? They were given information. You you said it. I don't want to misrepresent what you said. Whatever you said, you said like, you said like uh, yeah, without can, without. I can quote you. Divine inspiration. Divine inspiration. Peter. Oh, we understand that, Phantom. We I can quote you also, Peter. Um, I don't have the uh, text right in front of me at the moment, so I'll just have to paraphrase it. Where it says God moved holy men along so that they, 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 they would speak. God superintended the prophets to speak and to write the very exact message. And in second I think it's second Timothy it's either second Timothy two fifteen or three fifteen. Um, it says that scripture and the word scripture is used in a very uh, unique way. It is not used of, of just general writings. It, 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 it refers to that which is the Word of God. For example, the writers would refer to the Old Testament books as the Word of God. They would call it Scripture, as they did don't. Jesus. Yes. They don't. Thank you. So I think Matt would say, so what? It says all Scripture is God breathed. So what? Well, then his position is, is that therefore, 
uh, God superintended uh, men to write down a me message that was errant. And in addition, that God breathed forth errors. When you say superintendent, what do you mean? God in his providential oversight, since he is sovereign and controls all circumstances um, with the exclusion of the free moral agency of individuals, that they composed and wrote down the very message and the words that God intended for them to communicate. Well, so the uh, scripture is a dual authorship. Yeah, but how uh, you have to give like a you have to explain to us or give us like some sort of framework to show that the authors uh, are accurately inferring God's intentions through the message. How well, is it that you're going to pull that? You're going to you're going to pull you're going to pull that crap, Joe. Uh, uh, Look, you it's like entrapment. Okay, you, you make me, these okay, claims good, and I'm not allowed good, to respond good, to them. Okay, okay, well good. I can I can I I can handle that since you wanna you wanna pull that. Uh Joe. Um Well I asked a question. Can, can, can we know what's your, okay, what's your I, I don't I don't I don't have to um um I don't have to know all of God's intentions. Um I when, when I is there? Do you have a question? No, no, I don't. I, like, I'm really trying not to interrupt. I'm sorry. I was are, just... are you? Are, okay, Joe. Are you of the opinion that in order to interpret the text, I have to have access to God's intentions? Well, I, I think you. I'm just asking, how can you? Okay, infer I, asked God's you, I asked you a question. Yeah, and I'm. Re I, I just responded. Like, I'm, okay, okay. I. I you you didn't are you are you, exactly of, the opinion, what I was are you asking? of the opinion that in order for me to interpret any biblical text that I would have to know I would actually have to know in such a way that I cannot be wrong God's intentions no I'm just asking you what is the what is the framework that you're using to argue that you are inferring God's intentions accurately I didn't I, I didn't say that I was inferring God's intentions we we, well, we are we are inferring what the biblical authors yeah. wrote the message that they wrote that was superintended by God the, the scripture is under is under a dual a dual authorship so what the author's intentions were in the text are also God's intentions uh, I mean we're just pushing it back to the authors now uh, how is it that they uh, accurately inferred God's intentions? God sovereignly guided their lives providentially in such a way that the holy men of God um, spoke and also wrote. Okay, that's in – it's either in First or Second Peter. Then we go to um, – in Timothy where it well, says – Second Timothy. I'm, I'm attempting to answer you. And I'm going to keep this short because I'm not going to debate the subject very long to you because you have attempted to, and I'm only doing this out of courtesy to MK, um, you've attempted to troll me uh, on many occasions and you deliberately employed this in previous rooms to anger and infuriate me. Now, uh, this, the New Testament makes it very clear uh, that the Apostle Paul, when he referred to Scripture, and Scripture in the Jewish mind has a very specific and clear meaning. It refers to that which is the Word of God, uh, writ written by by prophets. Okay, he says all Scripture is God breathed. Okay, now in addition, it, see if you were more familiar, if you were more familiar with biblical theology, then you wouldn't be asking some of these questions because. It, within biblical theology, we, we learn from the Bible that when a person becomes a Christian, the Holy Spirit enters their, their, their life and also illumines for them as they are walking with, with God. Okay? Uh, you, you've the, been saying, you said of the text a lot. Is. Can I respond to the first thing you mentioned? I mean, yeah. I'm asking you, how, how can you demonstrate that they inferred the message from God? And you said you, you use you the authors, the biblical authors. No, the, the, the authors people, did the not, people. No, they did not. They did not infer from God. God supernaturally guided, sovereignly and providentially, 
the circumstances in the, their experiences and the circumstances in their lives without violating their free moral agency to pen the very words and message that they wrote. Can you can you explain that process? You you're you're asserting that that's what happened, but this is I don't. I don't... To, no, I'm not. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go into a mechanistic detail. This is what the Bible teaches. You either accept but that's it. begging the question. Okay, good. Well, you, well, you see, um, well, it doesn't good. matter. It doesn't matter whether it's begging the question or not, because ultimately, all, all, ultimately. Uh, our final arbiter and authority for anything will rest upon circular reasoning. Yours will and mine will. And my circular reasoning begins and ends with the, with, with, with the Christian God. He is the one who declares what is the truth and what is the nature of reality. You are not in a position to tell us what the nature of reality is. So your circular reasoning is, is vicious because your reasoning is fallible and his is not. If you do not accept that God said something, then you are going to be left in a position where you cannot state anything as the case, where you cannot be wrong. Okay, so it sounds like you're you're accepting that what you're doing is begging the question, and now you're now you're bringing up a distinction between virtuous and vicious circular reasoning. Can you give us another example of well, of the, of of vicious versus virtuous right. circular reasoning, please, because right. I don't know what that means. If it's only, it's, right. it seems like, yeah. okay. whatever, whatever, whatever God. And by by the way, I'm only gonna I'm only gonna take another minute or two of this up because um, you and I have been at odds before, and I'm not really interested in talking to you. But I will answer this question um, out of out of courtesy to MK. And after after this. I no longer wish to have conversations with you because you have uh, engaged. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, do you mind answering get, the question and well, then you can? Second. Hold on a second. Let me get a drink of water. Right. Well, the thing is, I will answer. I will answer this, this this question right here. But from here on out, there will be no further conversation with you because of your your trolling tactics. That, that you I have. don't see what how how what I'm doing is okay. trolling. They I didn't tell me what you were trolling now. I told you that you have repeatedly trolled me. You have come into rooms and you have deliberately repeated things that you have borrowed from the Pal Talk Power Rangers, from, deliberately, deliberately so to piss me off. Did you? I explained. I explained, I explained I where I got did my you, arguments did from. Did you? Did you? Did you? No, no, you did not. You got them. Yes, I did. I Pal did. Talk Power Rangers. Gregory and, Dawes. And, Okay, no, you heard that from the Pal Talk Power Rangers. No, no, I knew okay, of Gregory. Right, you know what? I'm done with you. You're lying now. I no longer want to speak with you. All right. The, let me, okay. Let me, uh, let me jump in real quick. Hey, Dawkins. By the way. Yes. Now you and me might disagree on this, but I don't even think it's circular reasoning. Like for example, if one of us walked up to God and we said to God, "Hey, God, how do you know you're God?" And he was like, well, I'm omniscient. I know everything. Do you and, usually and, rely and then, on the... Okay, hold well, on, Joe, real quick, please. Oh, sorry, sorry go, go ahead. Go ahead. No problem. I appreciate it. And then what if I said to God, well, how do you... how Like, you get what I'm saying? What if I interrogated God and I said, God, how do you know you're God? And he's like, well, I'm omniscient. And I'm like, how do you know you're omniscient? And he's like, well, because uh, I, since I'm omniscient, I would know I'm omniscient. And someone might say, well, hey, that's circular reasoning. But I don't know. Personally speaking, I wouldn't really consider that even to be circular reasoning. It, no, like it, it is. It, no, it is, um, MK, it, it, is, it is circular. But it's not a problem when you have a, a, the Christian God who, who cannot lie and is omniscient. Well, let me give you a quick reason why I don't think it's circular, and maybe you could still – you know, have the opinion that it is, or, you know... Well, it's circular from our, our, our viewpoint. From God's point of view, it's not circular. Hey, MK? What do you mean by that? Can, let me just ask him, what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean from his viewpoint it's not? Well, be, because God knows all true propositions. So when he, when he speaks, when he speaks, he, he cannot speak something that is not true. So if someone said to God, hey, God, how do you know that you're not being deceived by super God, 
and then God said, "Well, I know I'm not being deceived that, because that's that is not that is not even that's not even and I'm not trying to be rude to you, MK. It's not even something that's worth responding to. What we're talking what we're talking about is God is not a, a conclusion that we come to. God, uh, the Christian God from the Christian worldview, from your worldview and my worldview, is the starting point. God is not a conclusion. Yeah. God, God, saying, God is the creator of all things. He is yeah. the only one that is eternal. He is omniscient. He is omniscient, and he always speaks the truth. Yeah. Now, Let me just make says, how do I know? How do I know that is? Mm -hmm. It's because God says so. Yeah. You know, people say, well, that's 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 circular. Well, guess what? Everybody has a problem of circularity. But you well, see, uh, here's, I here's the thing. I, I, I didn't get to make. Hey, Doc, I didn't get to make my point actually. You mind? Go ahead. All right, I appreciate it. Uh, um, I don't think it's circular. But you know what? Maybe that's something you and me could talk about. So I'll bow out for the moment. Okay, let me just make a comment on Vito. Vito said that I am scared of. Is it Joe? Is that who you're referring to, Vito? Yeah, I mean you're not. Okay, okay, his okay questions. good. Well, obviously, obviously. Yeah, Darwin, let me say something. Yeah, well, I was speaking. All right, wait, hold on. Let me say something for a brief question. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. wait no, I was talking, Vito. No, wait, wait. I was hold I know, no, 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 you hold on. Just, I'm he talking. hasn't spoken. No, Darwin, I was just talking. Uh, I asked you a brief question because yeah. I wanted to comment on what you wrote. I didn't ask you for a comment. I said, were you referring to Joe? That was my only question. Now, All right, hold on. I just okay, want I'm to gonna, just, I, will do I just want to moderate real quick. Please, okay. please. All right. All right. Thank you. Vito, I hid you. I'll bring you right back. I just wanted to – he'll have the floor for a short period of time, and then you'll have the floor to respond. Okay, good. Um, the problem is, is there's there's no fear of Joe because I really don't consider Joe to be all that adept um, at at debating. The reason why I responded that way and why you might surmise that I'm afraid of him is because you're not privy to some of the many conversations that I have had uh, a, a dialogue and debated with Joel, where he, um, when he's on the losing side, he then moves to trolling. Now, he previously, a, a couple of debates or conversations ago, he deliberately asked me a question that he was deliberately trying to get me angry, which was, was a, um, a, a, tro a trolling tactic. He asked me how I could know God's intentions. Now, the only people that brought up this, this subject uh, on Google Plus were the Pal Talk Power Rangers. He got this idea from the Pal Talk Power Rangers. Now he's lying, and I will say he's lying. Okay, I'll be quick. He's saying he got it from Greg Dawes. Well, the fact of the matter is they referred him to Greg Dawes, but he is capitalizing upon their argument. Now, I will ask Joe right now, and I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, hold on, Doc. I wanted to give Joe, uh, you know, were you Doc, trying to kick me off? Hey, you Doc. Did, you asked me. Hey, Doc, can you, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Thanks. I, I want to give uh, Vito a chance to respond to that. Okay. Okay, just real quick. No, I was just being a smart ass there. I was just uh, trying to uh, uh, annoy you. Um, and yeah, well, I've, you've done that before. Done just, that. Hold on, just let me finish. Oh, okay. Wait a second. No, no, no. Wait a second. I, I don't, I don't like to entertain people who just come to try to annoy people. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's, yeah, done, he's it done it before. before. Yeah. All right. So go ahead, Dawkins. Yeah, he has. He's done it a number. Uh, they do these trolling tactics. Now, I don't. You know, Joe many times comes across as a sincere person, but I've dealt with him on many occasions, and I personally have come to the conclusion that he's that he's not sincere. He tries to maintain that that he is, but that when when he is on the short end of the stick in terms of debate, he he engages in his trolling tactics. Now, Joe, I'm going to ask you right now, and you can say right to my face. The other day, when you asked me how I could know God's intentions. Were you trying to do that? And and if you were, I, I'm more than glad to forgive you for doing that. Were you attempting to make me angry when you asked that question? I didn't think it would make you angry. Were, the, you, remember, were you doing it to – you're not answering my question. I guess Did, no then. I wasn't. Okay good. okay, okay, good. In my opinion, you are now lying to me. Do not bother to speak with me again. You, you, will, you, will, you are now on my troll list for lying to me. They see me trolling, they hate it, but 
patrolling and trying to catch me riding. Dirty, trying to catch me 